Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Thank you for coming by today. Thank you for visiting. I appreciate all of you. I am not in my normal surroundings. This is, uh, this is our son's kitchen table and I am set up here. Hopefully it's not too shaky or wobbly. Uh, I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm working in my en masse for no reason glue book. I have been doing it a little bit while the children are away at school or having quiet time, but uh, today I thought I'd turn on the camera and see what we can get done. I am in the food category here and I have this, although beer is not a food, but it's a label or um, a piece of trash that I had in my stash, in my stash basket for a while. I had coffee stained it and I wanted to use it in here so I glued it on the flap like that, and now I need to keep it closed. Well, here we are, as we are visiting, there is some avocados, and I took the part of the label, so I'm going to use this to sort of keep this down. I'm gonna leave a little bit of this green on. It does say avocados here, so I'm going to leave that to show that's what I'm using gonna cut that down. So this is part of some food packaging. Let's see here. I'm hoping that will work. This is also going to be a journaling, a little journaling flip spot. So I'll glue this and I don't have any Fabri-Tac left. I'm working out of my art glitter glue bottle here and I'm hoping I don't run out of glue while we're here. I hope this is strong enough. I think it will be because this is for jewels. I'm just gonna hold this down for a few seconds. If I don't play with it, it should be fine. I have another item for this page. This, this Smarty Pack was actually our grandkids this weekend. We took them, we took them to the store and they could pick out their treats and um, of course they don't want the packaging and I asked them if I could have it. So here's another, this is a granola bar. I'm going to use this. Actually, I wonder if I can, I could use this as a little pocket. I can definitely make this a little pocket. So I think I'll just give it a little a thumb, a little thumb divot. Maybe I'll do both sides like this. Nothing straight, nothing's perfect. I love it this way. I'm just gonna make sure this stays down. Yeah, so I hope wherever you're watching from, it's sunny, and even if it's not, that you're, you're feeling sunny. <laughs> And if I want to slide something in, I can. Oh, and I made this. I kept the flaps on the package of the Smarties so that I'll show you here, I, so that I could slide something in. And um, it was going to be a belly band, but right now I have just stuck down this. I was not thinking, that's fine. Even if I put something in here and it, it doesn't go all the way. I hope, the sh I hope the table's not shaking too much. Again, I'm just using things from, from around their home to try and get myself situated. Um, I do have a coffee filter. This is also why we've been here. So I dried it out. I added a couple of tea bags. We've had some tea while we were here. There's that beautiful watch. So I'm going to rip this, tear this. And I'm just going to lay some glue down and start working this. I'll do a little ruffle. So 
little bit of the watch like that. And I never know what I'm going to need <clears throat> unless I'm doing a specific project when I'm vis visiting, traveling. And so I just packed a few random items. A couple of things that I needed, glue, I got have my little stapler, a couple of ink oxides. And I also packed um, my, just some random papers and, and some pages that I had harvested from my magazines. Okay, that's the coffee filter. I do want to put something up here and I'll take this. Yeah, so I don't have too many items to choose from. I'm just going to rip, tear, um, like that. I've got a star section. Okay, so this was junk mail at their mailbox and it has no address on it. It's just a, a selling um, real estate junk mail. And it has, if you can see here, it has the stars. It also has the this beads, these beads here. And I have a bead section. To get the stars first, I have to find where they are because <laughs> uh, stars is after F. So here's some stars. Uh, that would be a fun tab. That can go up here. Hopefully that's okay. And I think I will go, I said I was going to go over here, but I'm going to go this way. I have that down. And the other thing I did, our son, of course, they have a printer. And I have, these are free printables. I can't even tell you where they're from. They've been in my, my file for a long time, but I thought I'd put them on the page. This is my own piece of artwork that I did in my, my summer journal, I believe. And then I have this quote. So I'm gonna cut the quote out. I said cut, but I think I'll tear. put on my quote page. It says, what you're looking for is not out there, it is in you. I like that quote. Bland. Brought a few of my markers and I did bring my watercolor brush spread it around a bit I'm 
right here. I've been using this too. Some of my own quotes, some quotes that I've seen in some catalogs and you know, just even on, on um, flyers and newspaper, take care of each other. That is a quote. I don't know who said it. I think we've all said it. that one and what else do I have here I have some labels that I also had in my files that I had purchased I believe this is from Shadi Dabby Duda and I just made them smaller to fit on the page yeah there's that's where they're from so these labels I don't really have a section for labels right now I have a vintage section um, well, I made it vintage because I, it's in the V's. I think I'll put these in here. This is an advertisement for hats. So I think I will put this under H for hats. I just took a really close look at it. Oh, that's perfect. Now, there, this one here, this was from the flyer that came in too. Oh yeah, hats, I like that. Oh. I have to decide where I wanna put this. I could put that right there. Maybe that's what I'll do there. I made some gesso. <laughs> I attempted to make some gesso with what I have here. And uh, I think it worked. It's not perfect. Not a great consistency, but it worked. And I did that for my spine journal that I did bring with me. Hats, I like that one. And then I have this, this older one of some people a family, maybe that'll be under F for family. I think that'll be too big, too large. Actually, it would fit right there. That would take up space. That's a photograph though. So, you know, I might go under photograph. I think that's what I'll do. Because I have a section for photos and I do have some real old photos at home. I should dig those out. I'm gonna put that right there, photos. Oh yes, so this is the baggy uh, gesso that I made. All I did was I took some of my tacky glue, squirted some in here, this little baggie. I added some of the baking soda and I added some, a little bit of water. I don't have any acrylic paint, so I didn't add that. Let's do that. I do have these words that I had harvested and I think I'll cut them out. Mid-century. We have new and vintage, so I will use new and I'll use vintage. Okay. 
There's vintage again. And here's vintage. I need some more fabric. I'll have to wait till I get home for that. I do have some more scrap fabric at home. I just have to take it out of my little drawer. Anna's been looking at this book and she really likes it. So she's been helping me. She's been doing her own little crafts, but at the same time, she wanted to make a contribution to the one of the pages that is a favorite of hers. Well, she loves this page. And the other page was, or is, she drew this bird, this purple bird, and she outlined it herself with the black marker and I cut it out and she loves it. I put here Anna's bird and here's a little bird that I made looking up to here with another scrap of paper that was on here. We're having a fun time. Going to go under I for inspired. I'm gluing down my last paper doll that is going to be standing on this girl's arm here, her bicep. I'm going to put her head down first and like that. <laughs> These paper dolls might have some extra little embellishments on them, maybe accessories, although they're pretty decked out right now. We'll have to uh, see if I can find some accessories for them. The Nutty Chocolatier. That's a great landing spot, a great spot to, to say thanks everyone for coming along and uh, hopefully you had some inspiration today. Maybe find something to write about or something to art about journal about. I hope that everyone has a fantastic rest of their day, evening, whatever time zone you're in, just enjoy yourself and I will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone, stay adventurous and stay cozy. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.